This man is all the rage, the Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter, outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. The Korean Superboy gets stung by that leg kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. This is not a place where you build into something. You got to be ready to fight the moment the fight goes. Jab is on point right now. To the body and it lands. Big shot to the head. Head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Able to land, but barely with that front kick. Over three minutes now to go in round one. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh! Stay strong. He's still in this fight. Let's go. Come on. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Just over two minutes to go. There you go, look for the shot. Do some work, guys. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Oh, man, another nice leg kick is there. Looks as though he's dealing with a cut above the eye here. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Beautiful shot to the leg. Went for the inside leg kick. Let me see those straight punches down the middle now. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Pretty strong jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Under a minute now to go in the round. Pretty good straight punch there by Choi. Just missed with that right hand. by the Korean Super Bowl. Big shot lands for both guys. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. 15 seconds. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. What an end to round one. 
but that's the end of the round. Clearly a cut sustained there on his forehead, courtesy of that strike, so the cut man will have to close that up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here as this fight moves forward. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on this play. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Yes. All right, let's get to round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent moving a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Working off the jab, it's good. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice. Oh, man, that could have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Real quick leg kick. See if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid work. right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, well-timed and placed overhand by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I got to protect my head. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, big hook, that'll stink. Oh! Well, that overhand, big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, he is stunned, trying to recover here. Work, guys. Come on. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Let's go. Keep that footwork going. Push kick there to the body. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Under a minute now to go on the round. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, oh, flying knee to the dome piece. Choi gets lit up by that straight punch. A 
effective with the jab. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. Though. Ready fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous round. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever. And I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. What a nasty flying knee to the head. Oh, nice straight punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Wild attempt with the right hand there. And he continues to work the body here. Oh! Choi's got a nasty bruise, Daniel. You see it appearing there on the left side. You gotta think all of that body investment by his opponent is gonna pay large dividends as this fight continues. Oh! Cannot take too many of those. Strong outside leg kick. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, a good lead right by Choi. Come on, don't stand still. Keep those feet moving. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big and kick. Set it up. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really. Oh, flying knee. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Straight right is there. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. In terms of those low, it's another drop. 
rushing kick to his opponent's leg. He escaped, committed with that weapon, and this might be over soon. Yeah, he is not kicking to the leg. He's kicking through the leg, and you see his opponent limping now all around the octagon. Oh! Oh, he's hurt, he's hurt. Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, the hard ground and pound strike lands, and that has caused some swelling or so to Yeah, he's a half guard here. That was nice. Making all these shots count. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pop. He passed the half guard. There it is. Now he's going to pop. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he could get back to that one more time, he may end the night. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Swing and a miss on the count. Nice punch lands. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. Oh, body shot. Straight right hand, no good. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high. Oh, that's the biggest he's he's fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, beautiful combination. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy, champ. The stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to look at the You got to right now. I mean, right now, this someone should work. be in here looking at how they can save this fighter from himself. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So if you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of fun. Yeah, they both show heart. Oh, right on the top. 
right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Oh, flying knee to the head. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from doing this kick over and over again. One minute. He's doing a really nice job switching up the speed and the tempo of these kicks. Big oh, how about that strike over the top? And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Just misses with the left hook. Back and forth we go. All oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I'm what a nasty flying knee. 15 seconds to go. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Short sounds for the end of round four. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. The jab gets through. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Sidekick, well done. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Each advantage was his at the outset, and he was able to take advantage there with the punch. Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen a referee call in a doctor for bodily damage, but I'm not sure how many more of these shots he should take, DC. He can't take many more shots. I mean, he is going to go down if he takes one or two more of these body shots. Massive flying knee. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Choi's left leg is now compromised. Perhaps it was that last kick, but clearly you can see he is dealing with a limp, and that could be a storyline that continues as this fight rolls on. Big right here. 
Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take... Oh, he smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. Oh, was that a switch kick? Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Kick right under that right elbow. Swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as go. Might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He still. His misses are out the Under two minutes to decide this one now. Oh, flying knee up top. And landing some nasty strikes. Oh, big punch land. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta do everything at your opponent. Oh, still, look at that. Final round, final minute, what a fight it has been, and hard for the referee to get the ball when damage is being doled out on both sides. I mean, it's so evenly matched. These guys have done such a great job of staying in the fight. There have been many moments in this fight where you thought one of them just did not have enough. Look at all the blood. Look at all the bruising on these two fighters. These guys have done a tremendous job. This is a fight of the night candidate. You gotta be careful here. Come on, come on now. You gotta get it back in the bar. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, and get up. Choi's in half goal. Control the hands. Control the hands. 20 seconds Watch to go in the fight. Waning seconds of this fight. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is. And oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffs. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. The winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.